Okay, this is the brain stem from here down. The pawns are these big bumps on the brain stem. The cerebellum is this portion. Um, looks like these are called little brain, so it's the smaller part. Arbor vitae are these white matter that looks like a tree, tree branches. So that's the arbor vitae tree of life. The ventricles, the lateral ventricles, there's one on the left, one on the right, and here's one of them, this space right here. There's one on the left, one on the right. Um, so it's the space that's the ventricle. The space is a ventricle. Vent you can think of the ventricle as like a holding tank. The third ventricle is right here. This is the muscle. It's a, right below it. it. There's another space. And the two lateral ventricles empty into the third ventricle. So one here, one, one here, one here, and they go into the third, into one third ventricle. It goes down the cerebral aqueduct, this track right here, and this is the fourth ventricle. Mm -hmm. And the fourth ventricle sits right under the cerebellum. Mm -hmm. Um, pituitary gland, well... Hurry, hurry. No, I'm just joking. Okay. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> okay. The pituitary gland, no wonder it doesn't fit, never mind, is, it gets cut off. This is the dura mater. It's this bump right here. This big... Pituitary. That's the pituitary. The septum pellucidum is this this membrane that separates, it separates the lateral ventricles into the left and right lateral ventricles. Mm -hmm. The optic chiasm is where the, um, the optic nerves cross together because there's one here, one here, and when they cross is the optic chiasm. Mm -hmm. After that is the optic tract. So these are the optic tracts. Olfactory bulb are these huge things. These, this is also the olfactory nerve. It's continuous. You can't really tell them apart. So that's CN1, CN2, and this is the oculomotor nerve. It's huge. It's CN3. Um, the tuber cinerium is, so there's the optic chiasm. The infundibulum is in the middle, and right next to it, this, this mushy area here, is the tuber cinerium. Cinerium, sorry. Trapezoid body is, so here's the pawns. Trapezoid body is right below it. There should be a distinction, oh, there. If I move it, move this, this is also dura mater. If you move it, you see there's a little line between the pawns and the next part, which is the medulla oblongata. So pawns, trapezoid body, medulla oblongata. The massa intermedia, is a really a, actually a pretty good marker because it's huge. It's this big round thing in the middle. Moss intermedia. Mammillary body is below the infundibulum. So optic chiasm, infundibulum, mammillary body, and it's like a little pouch that goes like that. Um, the fornix. Fornix is this white part, so there's the third ventricle, Massa intermedia, third ventricle, it's this white part on top of the Massa intermedia, that's the fornix. So above the fornix is the third, as the lateral ventricle. Corpus callosum is above the ventricle and it connects the two hemispheres together. This huge line right here, this huge white line. The infundibulum we went through that, and it connects, it should be, it's actually a, um, a tube that connects the brain to the pituitary gland, and it sits right below the optic chiasm. Sometimes you may, if it's easier to remember the infundibulum, it's also called the pituitary stalk 